Uh, I'm Alan Chodas, and I'm the Associate Executive Officer of the American Physical Society. There are many reasons. I, you can start by saying it's the last remaining undiscovered particle in the standard model of particle physics, which is incredibly successful at uh, explaining all the phenomena that uh, have to do with elementary particles. But it also is a unique particle that uh, doesn't resemble any of the other uh, ingredients of the standard model. The standard model helps us understand the universe as we think we know it, and without the Higgs, we don't understand the standard model. I don't want to diss any of the other particles, but the Higgs is special because it triggers the symmetry breaking that uh, gives the other particles their mass, and that allows the weak force and the electromagnetic force to actually be part of one big force. And anytime you can unify things together like that, that's a big deal. There was a, a very important year, which was 1964, when the theory of what is called the Higgs mechanism, which is how the Higgs boson does all these wonderful things that it does, uh, that theory was developed in that year, and that was even before uh, we had the standard model. So it was a, a mechanism looking for a model at that point. There were three independent groups of people working on this, and they all had their own slightly different versions of what was going on. Six physicists working in three different groups, all of whom contributed in essential ways to what we call the Higgs mechanism. Of course, one of them was Higgs. There are quite a number of unanswered questions. First of all, we have to understand the properties of the Higgs better than we do. Uh, discovery is not the same as really understanding it. You have to understand how it decays and how it exactly couples to other particles. By itself, the Higgs completes the standard model. So you could say, well, we've done it. We've completed the standard model. Let's go home. But the standard model really leaves a lot of questions. Even though it explains everything beautifully, it leaves a lot of questions unanswered about the fundamental nature of, of, uh, of what's going on. So there's still a lot to do.